there. Now we move on to another video, or a video of another kind. This is a video that shows how an armed gang gains access to a farmhouse. It will form part of a submission by AFRI Forum to the United Nations. The civil rights group released the shocking footage on YouTube earlier this week. The video, which shows how the gang break into the farm uh, in Schweitzer, Renike, in the northwest, already has more than 200,000 views. This video will form part of AFRI Forum's evidence at a meeting uh, of the UN's Forum for Minority Issues next week. They will also submit a petition to get the Minister of Police to prioritize farm attacks. Now, in our Bloemfontein studio, we are joined today by AFRI Forum's Head of Community Safety, Ian Cameron, uh, to talk about the video and their visit to the UN. Uh, good morning, Ian. Uh, thank you for joining us. Good morning, Evan. Thank you very much. Ian, let's start with the UN Forum for Minority Issues. Just tell us about your visit there and what you're hoping to, to achieve. I think the main thing is to, to create an awareness about the issue of farm attacks in South Africa. I think the fact that Minister Mtetwa isn't telling us the truth about what's really going on with crime in South Africa, um, especially farm attacks. And it's like they have a total disregard for what's going on in farms in South Africa. But Ian, it's the, the stats SA, stats that not the Minister of Police, Statistics South Africa brings out statistics. And the attacks on farms are not out of the ordinary compared to other crime in South Africa. So it may be a little bit difficult to make that analogy. Definitely not. Um, I, I must disagree. Um, if we go look at the, the crime statistics, since 2007, the police haven't released any more farm attack statistics. But then the Institute for Security Studies went and they did research. And it's clear and it shows that the average murder rate in South Africa for the average person on the street is 31 out of 100,000. Then if we go look at the police, it's about 54 out of 100,000. And if we look at farmers, it's about 120 out of 100,000. That means to say that farm farmers are three times more likely to be murdered on farms than what police are on the streets every day. Um, so, so that's the message. And it's time that the police start creating decent rural safety plans because what they are trying to enforce now isn't working. 120... All of these statistics, there are question marks over them. Uh, there are lots of false statistics that's doing the round. The, the truth of the matter is that crime in general is a problem in South Africa, Ian. What do you say to the critics who say that you, by doing this and by throwing up at times dodgy statistics, are creating mass hysteria, a victim mentality ar around those people that feel they are being persecuted when they are not being persecuted and thus stoking unnecessary racial tension in an already polarized country. What do you say to the critics who say that? Well, the critics who say that aren't being realistic about the problem because farm workers as well are being attacked. If you go look in a place like Natal, um, just last year, we, we went to a case where the farm workers themselves were murdered at a farm attack. And it happens very, very often that the farm workers are intimidated. They themselves are attacked and even murdered um, on these farms. So first of all, regarding farm, farm murders and farm attacks, it's not a racial thing. A murder is a murder regardless of, of who it happens to. Our point regarding farm attacks is that they are so much more cruel. Now, the sad thing is in South Africa that we have to start categorizing whether it's a, a cruel murder or a normal murder. But if we go look at farm murders, it so very often happens that these people are tortured. Just last week, there was an attack in Northwest as well. Um, whilst I was actually watching this video on YouTube, or before we just released it on YouTube, where the farmer was tied up and he was um, poured or well, they poured boiling water on him. Now, just the fact that they would do that, why would you do that to someone? Now, with that, I'm not saying that it's the only people who it happens to, but why is certain crimes like rhino poaching, for example, is a priority crime, but farmers who have to provide food for a country and have to fill the, 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 the I want to say, the, the, the hunger of even the police service or the senior management of the police aren't being taken seriously. Why is their safety not a priority? You are saying that you are getting no cooperation from the police. Is that accurate? And you're taking that to the UN? Definitely. Definitely. That's exactly what On, they're taking to the UN. What is the we evidence? Have Mr. We have asked Mr. Minister Mtetwa for the past year for, for some positive feedback on what we are going to do about rural safety. He hasn't come back to us. He hasn't given us proper feedback. And every time he just says there is a rural safety plan. If you go look at when the commandos were stopped in just early 2000s, in about 2003, 
not even the leader or the, the, the person at the head of rural safety, Johan Berger, uh, had any knowledge of that. Tabu Mbeki announced it before the police even knew it. And then suddenly there was a rural safety plan in, in place, and it wasn't in place. And to this day, we haven't seen an effective plan. And I've got examples. If you look in the Eastern Cape, I was in Elliot now. I came from there this morning. They've got a rural safety plan, but they've got one vehicle to do rural safety in 1,800 square kilometers. How is it possible to cover that? And province and national level aren't giving resources to the lower levels of, of policing in South Africa. Let's talk about what you're going to go do at the UN. What are the proposals and what are the plans that you would like to put before the United Nations? We would like to, first of all, crime. Crime in general, uh, violent crime. I've got the statistics here in front of me, um, and, I, and I can compare it to the, to the government statistics and the, the real statistics that comes from the Institute for Security Studies, which is a, a totally um, a separate organization, and, and they're not influenced by any other organization. Um, and, and if we go look at those statistics, we want to bring it to the attention that, uh, that violent crime has gone up in South Africa. According to the, the police statistics, it says that murder has only gone up by 0.6% whereas it's actually gone up by 2.6%. Now, um, we want to start raising these alarms at the UN, and then we want to go look at specifically farm attacks. Farmers, regardless of, 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 of race or culture, farmers are a minority in South Africa that play a, a, a very important role to feed the majority. So now we're not even talking on a personal level, on the, on the close to home level. We're talking about the, the issues such as, as farm attacks where these guys live in danger every single day, yet they have to provide food for everyone. In conclusion, Ian, I'm getting a little bit confused because you speak about the high crime rate and then you speak about farm murders uh, as... What, what are you presenting? Are you presenting that crime in general in South Africa is a problem and needs to be addressed and you're petitioning for this? Or are you simply taking farm attacks in isolation to the UN? No, we're definitely taking, we, we're taking farm attacks as one topic and crime as another. Farm attacks is one of our priorities at the moment. It's important that government wakes up and starts doing something about it because we need the help. We can't do it on our own. Um, it's, it's impossible for, for, for separate organizations. We want to speak to government. We want to see what we can do, but they don't come to the party. We've asked many, many a time, and, and Minister Mtetwa just seems to turn his back on, on all our requests and questions. Ian, thank you very much uh, for joining us today. That is AFI Forum's Head of Community Safety, Ian Cameron, uh, talking to us from Bloemfontein, uh, well, ahead of a, a submission that they will be making to the UN on farm attacks and crime in South Africa. Also, we have uploaded on our uh, Twitter page, on our Twitter page, you can watch a video of a farm attack. That's the specific video that they'll be taking uh, to uh, the UN uh, to showcase the issues that they are facing. But we are facing a lot of crime issues in South Africa. There are many, many videos of attacks on the general populace. Uh, in Johannesburg, for instance, we've had a couple, not one, we've had a couple of hijacking videos going viral this week alone. So farm attacks is an issue, but so is crime. And the statistics show that the two are not out of sync with each other. You're watching Newsroom on SABC News. When we come back, we'll go back to Bloemfontein for the Cherry Festival. And also, uh, we'll look back 50 years to the day when JFK was murdered. <laughs>